So I think it's only been a week since the last video update, but quite a lot has changed even since then. Uh, for one thing, one more room got painted. So this kind of very inviting uh, yellow tone, which is just a little off-white. Uh, to contrast the ceiling, works well with the wood too. So that's another room ready for the flooring to go down. Bathroom we'll ignore, <laughs> we haven't done anything there. Uh, but the big deal is uh, this week, the beginning of this week, we also got the floor and the kitchen tiled. Uh, these are the Gazzini Cottage Forest tile, which have a, a slight kind of green tone. And kind of blueies and browns as well. Um, which is why we chose green for some of the walls. And uh, yeah, the actual kitchen is coming tomorrow morning at 7.30. They'll be here for two days. So everything is ready for them. And the cable hanging from the wall there are for the uh, uh, the wall cabinets for the lighting underneath them. Uh, so that was all done yesterday and the connection for the cooker all ready to go. So, God, can't wait. We can make a cup of tea here finally. <coughs> uh, living room, nothing has changed. Ready to paint though. And uh, yeah, here, I can't remember. Was this done last week? I guess it was. The um, yeah, the plastering on the walls was done there, uh, but I also took to the stairs here, the actual steps. I thought they were varnished, but it turns out it was some sort of wax. I spent hours sanding it when all I needed to do was use a scraper because it came off really easy with a scraper. But anyway, I found that out later. Uh, so yeah, down to the raw oak. It's quite nice. Uh, that's only a rough sanding. The backboards still don't know, or the the, the risers there don't know what kind of wood they are. It's more of an open grain soft wood. Um, yeah, need to do something with that. So anyway, it was just a first clean off. Final sanding will follow. And all the mucky work is done, which is what I was doing yesterday for, I don't know, 10 hours. Uh, doing clay plastering up here. Um, so I wanted that this area, because we haven't done really anything up here for ages, um, I wanted that the mucky work was done so that um, yeah, it's not all falling down into the kind of cleaner first floor. So yesterday was all about clay plastering. These panels here, they look like that. That's kind of the original uh, kind of wattle and daub construction between the timbers, which is uh, yeah, clay and straw. So I'm, we reckon it's probably, probably original. So uh, yeah, 230 years old, we think, 235. Uh, so that's just a layer of, uh, of, of clay plaster on top like I did below, from a different company, so it's much finer, much nicer to work with actually. And um, once it was kind of left dry for three or four hours, I got at it, uh, instead of a sponge float, I used a, a kitchen sponge like for washing dishes, because it was finer, and uh, gave that a good rub, and I'm really pleased with how that turned out. So when that's painted, this place will be all much brighter, and of course the timbers haven't been oiled here at all yet. So I got both sides of this done, um, that's about, oh, I don't know, a quarter or a fifth of, actually, Jesus, it's less. No, yeah, about a quarter um, of what needs to be done up here. So we have uh, behind here, oh, that's something else we also did this week. Uh, this cabinet here is going to be the communications cabinet, so all the networking stuff is going to come in here. Behind this part on the left is where the chimney is, so it's kind of just uh, masking it all off. But back here, this was interesting, actually, because that diagonal line it's kind of dark there was a smoker up here at some stage attached to the chimney they must have had something uh, kind of blocking it off or panels or something because the left hand side was covered in like a centimeter of soot which he only scraped off yesterday um, so yeah kind of weird that the timbers there are smoked now kind of nice effect uh, so they have to be cleaned off I, I had a bit of clay plaster left over so I yeah filled in one panel so all the rest of that needs the same treatment and then over this side, uh, where the stairs going up to the top attic spaces, this all needs to be done as well. And these timbers were sandblasted a couple of years ago. Kind of really nice. Oh, that little black bit is where uh, I missed a bit. There was a handrail screwed there. So that just tells you the timbers here were black from smoke. And uh, with the sandblaster, got all that went away and brought it down to the lovely kind of honey coloured oak uh, that you see there. That was really pleasing as well, and the stairs got the sandblasting treatment as well. But I wasn't doing videos back then. <clears throat> so yeah, that all needs to be done, and I'd really like to get this area done. This is um, going to be the another little hallway, and we're going to have a stairs coming up here to the, the next level up. 
the next level up we're not going to do anything uh, until after we've moved in or maybe in the next couple of years it's not essential but we'd also like to get this room finished so uh, really I just need to do some filling work here the plaster board work is mostly done and there's a little bit of uh, clay plastering to do just a few hours work and then some uh, plaster board to go up on on this area there all the under construction work is finished just need to put the plaster board up but more important was uh, getting downstairs finished uh, we'll ignore that part for now and then last bit that I have to do as well is uh, also do the filling and uh, whatever final work on these parts so it's quite advanced here and then just a bit of clay plastering here as well and that'll be then uh, our kids bedroom hopefully done so yeah uh, that's done lots more to do I'm saying that every week uh, but I'm quite pleased you made a dent in that stuff because I was dreading it um, but with a bit of music and uh, just slapping away at it we get it done so let's see how we get on with the next couple of weeks but main thing is kitchen tomorrow brilliant